Hi there! This video covers the installation and setup of another essential plugin for your WordPress blog. This is the Google XML sitemap generator. Now the purpose of a sitemap is to make it easier for the, uh, the search engine robots to crawl your website. Uh, it basically gives them a map of your website so that they can find everything a lot quicker. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to plugins, add new, and we're going to search Google XML. Oh, it's already there because I had already searched it. And search. And it's the first one that comes up. Okay, so if you want, you can click on details and you can read a little bit more about this plugin. Like it says, this plugin will generate a special XML sitemap which will help search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, and Ask.com to better index your blog. With such a sitemap, it's much easier for the crawlers to see the complete structure of your site and retrieve it more efficiently. Okay, so this is, this is essential for SEO optimization of your blog. So I'm just going to click install now successfully installed. I'm going to activate it. Alright, and then I'm going to come over to settings and I'm going to find XML sitemap and I'm going to click it. And then we just need to run through these settings. Now if I am not mistaken, most of these settings are pretty much already set up for you, but we're just going to go through uh, to make sure that uh, everything is okay. You pretty much just leave the defaults here. Uh, write a normal XML, write a gzip file, rebuild sitemap if you change the content of your blog. Well, absolutely. Notify Google about updates, notify Bing, notify Ask. Uh, now, I, I don't have notify Yahoo uh, checked. You need a special ID with Yahoo and quite honestly I've just never bothered to get it. Um, I mean most importantly is to have Google and so that's all I worry about. Add sitemap URL to the virtual robots txt file. So this this file is, is what it creates. Okay and this is what it notifies Google about. And then the advanced options uh, I just leave all of these as they are. Uh, if you, I mean, you, if you want, you can play around with some of these. Uh, you can see what they do. In most cases, you're you're not gonna be able to actually see what it's doing. So you, it, this is really for more advanced users. You can click learn more and uh, learn a little bit more about it. Um, now, if just continuing on down. There's a few more here. Post priority. Please select how the priority of each post should be calculated based on comment count. Fair enough. Uses the number of comments of the post to calculate the priority. Uh, all posts have the same priority, which is defined in priorities. Okay, so you know, usually you want a a post that's got a lot more comments to have higher importance than a, a post with no comments, and so that's what that's for. Location of your sitemap, automatic detection. You just want to leave it at this. You don't want to have to worry about setting up a, a custom location for your um, for your sitemap. Sitemap content. Include home page, include posts, include static pages, and that is all I am going to check in here. Once again, I don't want to include some of these other pages because essentially that's duplicate content. I only want to include the, the main content of my blog. And then if you want, you can exclude specific categories. Now if I had more categories or once you've got more categories it actually shows them all in here but because this is a brand new blog the only thing in here is uncategorized. So if you had more categories you would just come in here and you just check off the ones that you don't want included in the sitemap although I don't know why you would ever want anything not included in the sitemap. 
Okay, you can change the frequencies. Okay, so the value of this tag is considered a hint and not a command. Even though search engine crawlers consider this information when making decisions, they may crawl page marked hourly less frequently than that. Okay, so I didn't change any of this stuff. Okay, and once again, when you get down to priorities, I didn't change any of this. So this leads back up to here where you say post priority. Okay, if if it's if you say do not use automatic priority calculation, all posts will have the same priority, which is defined in priorities. This is what it's talking about. Okay, so down here is where you would actually define the priorities. So here, the home page has the highest priority. And then your posts and static pages have the next highest priority. And then categories, archives, tag pages, and author pages are next. And then minimum post priority. Okay, so I don't think I changed anything in there, but it's always a good idea to just click Update Options. Okay, I'm not going to build the sitemap right now. Um, I'm going to wait until I've got a little bit more of my site set up. So just remember, this is something you want to come back in and do uh, when you've, you've got your site set up. Because it, until I'm ready for everyone to see my blog, I, I don't want the search engines indexing it at this point because I don't have any content on it. I, I don't want people finding my blog, seeing there's nothing on it, and then just never coming back to see it. I want them to find it once it's ready to be found. All right, so that's the setup of the XML sitemap. Thanks a lot, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.